And we have deployed full team coverage from across the province tonight, so you don't miss a thing. Yes, now this budget affects everyone, so let's start at the center of Saskatchewan politics. Lee Jones is in the rotunda at the Saskatchewan Legislature with Premier Scott Motley. Yeah, thanks a lot, uh, Morgan, here with Premier Scott Moe, also, of course, the MLA for Rossler and Shellbrook. Thank you for joining us tonight here on Budget Day. Thanks so much, Lee. We just did a quick breakdown, of course, of the main budget numbers, but for yourself, what makes this budget work, the fact that basically you want to move forward here from COVID-19? Well, this budget really is a transition budget, and, you know, the theme of the budget is, is back on track. What we are seeing in this province is a, an economy that, you know, most certainly is, is back on track with, uh, you know, record investment over 13 billion dollars uh, and, and job increases year over year uh, over 30,000 jobs that uh, uh, that we've had arrive here in Saskatchewan over the course of the last year so um, that allows us to uh, continue our, our investment in public service in public infrastructure and most certainly uh, we're seeing a budget that is is coming much closer to balance than than maybe we've been uh, through the last two years of the pandemic health care of course a big chunk of the budget because especially what we've gone through but even before that it always was the case Case. Uh, do you feel that the money that's going to be spent will put this province uh, a step forward to uh, kind of fixing the things that have been a result of COVID-19? Most certainly, uh, they are going to be a step towards, uh, you know, f rectifying some of the, the challenges that um, maybe were present before COVID, not just in Saskatchewan, but in provincially delivered healthcare systems across the nation. Uh, and some of the very targeted investments that we saw in today's budget uh, most certainly are, are targeting, for example, the surgical wait time that we have across Canada and we have in Saskatchewan. Our ICU capacity increases there and our, our general services that are being offered in, in rural communities across the, the province. And we do have some communities that where we have some gaps in those services and the, the effort, the effort and, and focus on, on recruitment, retention and training are going to allow us to have much fewer, those, fewer of those gaps in the, in the months and the, the years ahead. Now the opposition party is saying that uh, this budget is, is not good for affordability for families pointing towards taxes and an extension of the PST. What is the government's response to that? Well, we have a number of affordability, affordability measures uh, that are in place. They total about $2 billion and are annualized. And so they, you know, they occur uh, each and every year. They're very much uh, targeted tax incentives uh, to uh, those that need them, those that would be under 100 and more specifically under $50,000 in their, their household income and to, you know, those that are entering the workforce. Our, our graduate retention uh, program, for example, is, is uh, attracting people uh, as they come out of maybe post-secondary there's post-secondary training uh, to have a career in a community uh, in this province maybe the community uh, where they were raised and so we have a number of affordability measures that are already in place in the province they're annualized they happen each and every year and there's a number of additional affordability measures in this budget that was released uh, today to uh, support uh, Saskatchewan families I know in the past the SAS party has been accused of relying too much on natural resources such as potash and oil but the numbers that are projected are pretty conservative was that a specific point you wanted to do absolutely we, we don't know how long uh, these uh, the, 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 the quite high numbers that we're seeing on certain days, uh, in particular in oil, but also in potash. We don't know if that's going to be annualized out over the course of the of the entire year. And so, you know, what we're doing is we're being cautious uh, with the estimates uh, that we have, and we're being responsible with, uh, yes, bringing this budget back to a balance, bringing it back on track, um, but continuing to invest in those, you know, those services, notably in healthcare services across, across this province, uh, that people really expect to have access to. We'd love to talk a lot more. There's a lot more to go to with the budget, but unfortunately, we've ran out of time. Thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you, Lee, and thank you for being here today.